This is Fred. My name is your dad and welcome to that moment just before you drop your vat into your printer and you hope to God you didn't overfill it with resin. I recently made a video, you can check it up in the top corner right now, about a specific type of resin. With that resin, I printed this dude, which is a space marine, but cooler. And basically, I also recorded painting the space marine, I never included any of that footage, and this video is that footage. One thing I haven't showed before, maybe I have, I can't really remember, I've done so many videos at this point, I don't even know if I've told you or not, but I use just a plain clear lacquer spray paint, it's the cheapest one I can find in the nearest hardware store to my house and I spray this over the top of everything to set it in before I start the oil wash step. Now this being a much bigger model it's a little bit easier to place that oil wash just in the places I want it as opposed to on the smaller models I feel like I kind of just place that wherever I can and then just rub off whatever I need to afterwards. While I wait for this to dry I'm going to come back in and I'm going to paint the little satchels and pouches that are going around the dude's waist these are nothing fancy i just used old rust it's a, a brown color of satchel in order to not make all the satchels look the same i used this grayish color it's quite a i would say it's a warm gray and i'm going to spray this just flat over the top i'm going to leave a bit of the black in the shadows so yes, I am kind of cheating with my base coat. This is one of the main reasons why I like to start out with a black. And then I chose probably the worst color I've ever used in my airbrush ever. And I used this brass color to paint my trinkets that hang around the waist. I then took a sponge. This is a makeup sponge. You can buy bags of them broken up in most pound stores or cheap tchotchke place type stores. Usually you can find them in bags with loads of bits in them. Once I've done the cleanup of the oil stage, it's time to matte varnish everything. And the reason you need to do this is because, trust me, painting paint on top of a clear varnish is a nightmare. It doesn't work nicely, it makes weird little bubbles, it looks horrible, don't do it. Just put a matte layer after you're done and you're ready to move on. I then use the same technique I used in all my Space Marine videos and I painted this contrast paint all over the top of it. I then take an ink azure blue which is from Vallejo and I spray that from the bottom in the shadowed areas just so that the shadows are not actually black. The nice thing about having a large chunky boy is that I can take him apart and really get into those shadowed areas really easily. Then it was time to add some decals and one of the main reasons I chose to make my chunky boy uh, ultramarine was mainly because I actually had a load of these decals the size that I needed for them because I am working on an army so these are the vehicle size decals and I pretty much stuck them wherever I felt fit I just wanted to make him look cool they look I love decals decals really really sell something like this I just feel like it takes a really good paint job and makes it even cooler now if you could freehand that on that would be really cool but let's be real not many of us are going to be able to freehand that as perfectly as a decal and then once you've done the decals, make sure to do another layer of matte clear coat. I then take a bunch of shades and I'm going to start to shade certain things. What I was showing with these two pots is that the new Citadel shades are a smaller pot than the older Citadel shades. They do not behave the same. They don't tint the same. They're different. Games Workshop, I don't like it. Please can you go back to the old ones? Please fix it. I don't like the new shades. And by I'm not liking the new shades, what I actually mean is they're cool for some things, but I feel like they should have been an additional range if that's the way you wanted it. Don't freaking give me shades that don't work, man. I want the old ones back. I then used that another new shade on the trinket things that go around his waist. In the, in the case of the trinkets, I feel like that is the time when the shades are actually worthwhile because they don't stain it too much. But... At the same time, I'd rather just water down my old paints, man. I want them back. I then take a bronze. This time, I didn't, I really could not get on with that paint from Ammo by Meg, that brassy color that I chose. So I ended up using bronze from Pro Acryl and I painted all the trimmings that needed to be golden looking with that bronze color. And then I took the new shade and I gave a Rycling shade to all of them.
The new contrast paints, however, are really cool. I actually really like them. Some of the newer colors, for example, this Imperial Fist is really good, actually, for highlighting gold. Like, you would have thought of that, but, you know, it works friggin' fantastic. And around this time is when I decided I needed to paint his face. As you can see, I've already given it a very nice, neat edge highlight. Because it's so big, it's so easy to edge highlight this thing. As well as painting his eyes. Man, I wish all lenses were like this. Basically, I paint a metallic red down as the base coat. And then I put a white in the corners of each eye, like kind of to lighten that area and then I'm going to add a highlight to the outside edges and I'm just going to use a fluorescent over the top of that. I must say I have to credit again El Miniaturista because I've seen him do it like this as well and basically I just copied it and stole it. Please don't hate me. I, it looked good so I used it okay. Going back to those pouches I went in with a lighter brown and I just kind of gave it some scratches and scuffs Technically, I just used a more orangier brown and then I added a bit of white to that to create a highlight edge. And this was the time when my computer decided to start making freaking weird noises. What the hell, computer? I went into the highlighting again. Uh, if you remember watching the previous videos painting this kind of blue armor, I used white. Those were on the miniatures. In this model, because it's so much bigger, what I did was I used a very light blue and I painted most of the edges and then only the highlight right on the toppy tips where the light hit the edges. I used white to highlight those edges just because I had so much more space in this size model. And I used super glue. I use medium thickness super glue. It's one of the easiest ones to use. It doesn't dry immediately, but it's nice and thick and doesn't run anywhere, which is really important. Once everything was glued together, I went around and did a couple final touch-ups. I just needed to do the little seals of the purity seals, and I had to add in some text on the actual fabric of it themselves a couple of extra edge highlights here and there just mainly with the blue in the lower lighted areas not really too highlighted in this area and that's where i called the model done I hope you managed to learn something in this video. If you didn't, I don't really know what to say to you, but thank you for watching anyway, because if you're listening to this part, you watched, and that's all that I can ask of you. But if you've watched already this far, you might as well watch another one. And if you haven't already, click like, click subscribe, because we know those are the things you gotta do on YouTube. Just do the thing. If you wanna do any more, there is a link to the Patreon, and I cannot mention the Patreon if I don't actually say thank you to my latest Patreons. And that would be Joseph and Michael Fuller. Thank you, my dude, so much. You keep these lights blind in my eyeballs and the videos happening. Honestly, I cannot say how grateful I am for the Patreons, for everything they do. The Discord is amazing. The people I've met have become some good friends already to the channel, and I'm really, really happy with how everybody is taking this. I never expected this to become something more than just painting a couple of models. I don't really know how to actually say that in words that come out of your mouth, but speaking of words, you know the drill, leave some words. If you don't like what you saw, nothing I can do. Just take your f***ing computer. I don't know why I've got such a thing about your computer. Leave the computer on the table and you just jump out the window and f*** off. Sometimes they get a little bit weird. I don't really know what I'm saying most of the time, to be honest.